Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah Welcome to Ahkam SOS, the show that discusses Islamic practices and duties by His Eminence, the Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Shazi. May Allah prolong his life. I'm your host, Mohsin Shah, and joining me is Sheikh Ali Ma'ar. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikhna. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Sheikhna, we've got a very, very nice discussion uh, today. It's on Eid and the, the, the prayer of Eid, inshallah. The actual prayer, is this mandatory? Is it wajib to pray this prayer? أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد The Salah of the two Eids i.e. Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Abha they become mandatory in the presence and uh, with the being of the Imam of our time عجل الله فرجه الشريف um, they become wajib, both of them, when the Imam reappears, insha'Allah, and he's in his reappearance. Uh, the salah, these two salah will become wajib for the mu'mineen to attend. However, during his disappearance and absence, uh, they both become mustahab. So Salat al-Fatr, Eid al-Fatr, and Salat of Eid al-Adha, they both become mustahab. In other words, um, you can attend the Jama'a pray and pray to the Jama'a or even you can pray it individually as long as it's mustahab you have both options of course the best option is for the one to attend the Jama'a on the Eid to celebrate the Eid with the Mu'mineen um, um, also to embrace the Mu'mineen you know say salam to them and um, of course, you gather in that community on, on such a blessed day. So it's better for the Mu'mineen to attend and participate in the Eid Salah. And of course, uh, the thawab and the rewards be, would be more. And of course, the ones would uh, be joyful when you see the Mu'mineen. That's one of the good things about uh, attending the mosques and, and the centers in such a blessed days that the one becomes happy and joyful by seeing the mu'mineen, by atten attending the salah, especially after 29 or 30 days of fasting, for example. Uh, so it's, it's good to encourage mu'mineen to attend on such a blessed day and gain uh, from um, the barakats and the blessings from uh, this day. Shaykh the, the Eid Salah is, is a little different to uh, the other prayers in terms of the timing. I mean, what is the time slot? Where do we pray this prayer? Basically, the Eid Salah of the Fitr and Adha, they both begin by the sunrise. So let's say you pray the Fajr prayer, and then you wait, you do taqibat, tasbihat, recitations, whatever mustahab you do until the sunrise after after the sunrise you begin and you're allowed to uh, perform the salah of eid till midday so just before adhan al dhuhr you're allowed to uh, perform the salah and that's what we see in the mosques around the world uh, in the muslim world that they pray the salah many times they repeat the salah for those who didn't catch up so they start from 7 o'clock a.m till 11 a.m so for this for four or five hours um, of the time in the morning, they would pray many times. The Imam would repeat his salah about three, four times to make sure that all the mu'mineen uh, prayed and participated and gained the rewards of Salat al-Eid. So yes, it's from the sunrise till midday. MashaAllah. Um, Shaykhna, how is the Eid prayer performed? Is it different to um, our normal prayers? Is it different to the prayer that we do on Jummah, on Fridays? Yes, slightly different than the Friday prayers. Basically, it's uh, two rak'ah of salah, like Salat al-Fajr. And then the Imam, of course, makes the intention, and the Mu'mineen, makes the, they make the intention of Salat al-Eid on that day. Um, it begins with, on the first rak'ah, Hamd and Surah. And then 
there, there are five takbira. Okay. So the Imam begins the first takbir, Allahu Akbar. And instead of going to the ruku' on the first rak'ah, he would raise his hands and read qunut. And there's a special dua for the Eid uh, of uh, Al Fatr and Adha that you read that dua. I mean, it's quite a famous one. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It takes about three, four minutes to finish Indeed. the dua. And of course, um, five qunut in the first rak'ah of Salat al Eid. Five qunuts. And five takbirat, of course. So after each takbirah, the Imam does, mm -hmm. uh, you would raise your hands and read the, that qunut. Of course, uh, it's important for the mu'minin who follow the Imam, or even mu'minat. When the Imam is reading Hamdan Surah, again, you keep silent and listen to the Imam's recitation. But in the qunut, you read with the Imam, the dua. And uh, five times, so five takbirat and five qunut, you repeat them. So after each takbira, again, you, you, you raise both hands and you start uh, re reciting the dua. After reciting the last and the fifth uh, uh, qunut, then the imam would uh, go towards the ruku' and then sujood. And then he stands up again for the second rak'ah. In the second rak'ah of Salat al-Eid, the Imam also reads a Hamdan Surah. Also, you, the, the Mu'min should also, the followers, be silent and listen to the Imam's Hamdan Surah. And then the Imam, again, he goes for the Takbirat al-Ihram. And he starts to read the Qunut as well in the second rak'ah. This time, there are only four Qunut in the second Yes. Rak'ah of Salat al-Eid. In the first Rak'ah, we had five takbirah and five qunuts with it. In the second Rak'ah of Salat al-Eid, we have four takbirat with four qunuts. So again, the Imam repeats the same dua he read in the first five ta uh, takbirat and qunuts. In the second one, the same thing is repeated, but four times this time. So four times qunut with the, with the dua, the same dua is, is repeated. And then the Imam, he goes for the ruku' and sujood and tashahud and taslim and the salah is, is uh, attained and completed in this way. MashaAllah. <laughs> Shaykhna, now I'm smiling because our, everyone knows about that Eid prayer and, and the, the Imam of Qanut and, and MashaAllah. If you have a very slow uh, Imam and Jama'ah, you're going to be there for a while. Um, Shaykhna, sometimes there is a khutbah, yes or no, uh, with, with the Eid prayers? Exactly. I was just going to say this uh, afterwards, that there is a khutbah after the Salat al-Eid. And this is different with regard to the Salat al-Jum'ah, the Friday prayers. Yes. The Friday prayers, the first comes is the, is the two khutbah, the two sermons, and then Salat al-Jum'ah. In the Salat al-Eid, we have first the two rak'ah of Salat al-Eid, and after the Salat, you have the uh, two sermons. It's just vice versa with, with regard to yes. Salat al-Jum'ah. Uh, compared to Salat al-Eid. So when the Imam finishes the Salat al-Eid, he stands up and he starts to read the first sermon. When he finishes the first sermon, again about taqwa, about akhlaq, morality, about piousness, God-fearing, then he goes and he sits for a few seconds or a minute, and then he stands up again to offer the second khutbah, which is also could be political, economical, you know, current affairs of the Muslims. And then he ends the second khutbah, and that's it. The mu'min would stand up and greet each other and, you know, send a break and, and so forth. And that's basically is the Salat al-Aid for the two main Aids, the Adha and uh, Futr. Shaykhna, there's no Adhan or Aqama for uh, Salat al-Aid, isn't it? I, I, I believe they say the word Salat three times. Exactly. Um, there's no uh, adhan or iqamah for Salat al-Eid. So basically the Imam, when he wants to start uh, the Salah, as we said in the iqamah, that the iqamah is there, when he, the Imam says qamat al-Salah, is to inform the followers and the mu'mineen that get ready and be ready for the Salah. Mm -hmm. In the Salat al-Eid, no, we don't have an iqamah or adhan. So the Imam would stand and he would um, say aloud, as-Salah, as-salah, as-salah. As yeah. So the mu'min would be ready and prepare themselves 
for Salat al-Eid. And then the Imam, he does the Takbirat al-Ihram and he begins the Salat al-Eid. Shaykhna, with the khutbah of, of the Jummah prayer, it, it is, you know, it's mandatory that we, you know, it's part of the prayer, it's mandatory that we attend the khutbah. Is it the same with the, uh, the Eid prayer? That, do we have to stay for the khutbah after? With regard to the khutbah, well, the whole Salat of um, Salat al-Eid and uh, um, the Eidain and the khutbah, they're all mustahab in overall. However, it is permissible for the one to leave the khutbah. So, for example, you just attend, let's say you got work, you got appointment, and you just want to pray, that's fine. You come to the Salat al-Eid, you perform the Salat al-Eid with the Jama'ah. When you finish, you can leave before the Imam even starts the khutbah. That's fine. It's all uh, mustahab at the end of the day. This is, of course, permissible in the time of the occultation of the Imam, Ajlal Farjah sharif So, in the time of his presence, that becomes wajib. So, it's just now we are allowed because it's, it's, there's no uh, actual presence for the Imam, salam alayh, between us. In this case, the salah will be mustahab, the khutbah mustahab, and so forth. Shaykhna, um, the Eid prayer is done on, on the two most famous Eid, Eid al-Adha and Eid al-Fitr. Um, what about the other Eids, Eid al-Mubahila, Eid al-Ghadir, one of the most important Eids that we have? Are we allowed to pray Eid prayers on, on those special occasions? According to the fatwa of the Sayyid Hafadahullah, he would say that um, yes, it's mustahab for the mu'mineen also uh, on top of the, the Eid prayer on Fitr and Adha also to pray on the Eid al-Ghadir this great Eid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Eid Allah al-Akbar the great Eid of Allah the Almighty and it's one of the best days and the best Eids in the you know, calendar of the uh, Muslims so, yes, we can pray exactly the same way we pray uh, Salat al-Eid on the Fadr al-Adha, also to pray it in the same way, to pray it on the day of Ghadir. So the Mumin would gather, and also there's a two rak'ah, the same dua, you know, the, the first rak'ah, five qunut, second rak'ah, also four qunut, and then the Imam, when he ends the Salah, again, first and second sermon, and that's it. So, basically, uh, the says is mustahab, you can perform it, that's fine. And uh, also the Salah, as I've said, uh, exactly the same as Salat Al-Eidain. But it's only for Eid Al-Ghadir, not the other Eids. The other Eids haven't been mentioned. No, the Sayyid mentions Eid Al-Ghadir for the moment, okay. yeah. MashaAllah. Shaykhna, um, a lot of the brothers and sisters may live in areas where uh, there is a high population of non-Shia and, and they're celebrating Eid. Are we allowed to um, pray the Eid prayer with, with the non-Shia? Are we allowed to pray behind them in, in, on Eid? You see the same conditions and criteria for the Salah to be accepted. And of, of also we mentioned the, the criteria and the conditions of the Imam al-Jama'ah as well. That to be Shia Athna Ashari, to be uh, Adil, righteous, uh, such, uh, and the rest of the um, conditions that applies also to the mustahab salah. You cannot differentiate between the wajib and the mustahab salah. That in wajib, yes, I only pray behind the Shia Imam, for example. And uh, in this case, then for the mustahab, fine, let me go and pray behind the non-Shia Imam and the, with the non-Shia community. No, you have to also follow the rules and the guidelines that you would also pray behind uh, a Shia Imam, Ithna Ashari as well, and you follow the same conditions. So no, you cannot go and pray in the mosque of those who are non-Shia and you pray behind them and you do iqtida and you follow the Imam who is a non-Shia, let's say in Mecca or Medina mosques because it's Eid, it's a joyful day, let me join with them. No, you have to make sure that you either you pray it with a Shia Imam or you can pray it as we mentioned, a Farada, you pray it by yourself. So you stand in the mosque and you, in the corner and you pray it by yourself. That's fine, as a farada. Even if you move up and down mm -hmm. with the jama'ah, but you do it in a farada way. That's the best way. Otherwise, you just do it somewhere. There are Shia community in the mosque or center, and you pray with them. Inshallah. 
Thank you very much, Sheikhna. And thank you to all of you for joining us, inshallah. When Eid does come, we wish you a very, very happy and very, very pious Eid, inshallah. Until next time for the new discussion, Iqam SOS. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Ah, 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 ah.